Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. My name's Rob, and I'm gonna be the one bag traveler. I've recorded a little intro video where we talk about what's gonna be on the channel in rural Herefordshire. Some of the sound might be a little bit shaky, so I've recorded this little section to introduce you and introduce myself. So for now, let's head out to the countryside and we'll talk to you about what's gonna come your way on the channel. Hey guys, and welcome to the channel, One Bag Traveller. You join us here in beautiful rural Herefordshire with my little pal, Peppa the dog. <laughs> so I thought, while I'm out walking in the countryside, I'll kind of give you an overview of what, the, what to expect on the channel. So, One Bag Traveller, what does that mean? Well, back in 2019, I was traveling the world and COVID hit. So I had to cancel all my plans. I've got as far as Japan, I've been in South America, in, um, in Mexico, Chile, Peru, uh, Colombia, and then went over to Asia in Vietnam, Thailand, and Japan. So we started hearing rumors in right, January 2020, or 2020, sorry. So we started hearing rumors in January 2020 of this big virus that was taking place. And so in March 2020, obviously had to pack my bags, leave Japan, come home. So I moved back home with my parents here in Ross on Wye and stayed here for like six months or so. I moved down to Margate while everything was locked down. And then I spent about two years in Margate, but wasn't really sure what I wanted to do in terms of life and my career. I started a new job around six months ago. Within three months they made me redundant, so that didn't go to plan. So then I kind of start, started wondering what I could do from there. And when I got made redundant, I kind of thought it was time to go back to doing my own thing and resuming life as a freelance writer, which is what I now do for work. So, last time I was traveling, I spent several months just trying to get this business off the ground, where I basically write blogs and articles and white papers for technology companies and this car coming fast, I think. Sniffing around in there. So yeah, I spent a lot, of, a bit of time getting this. Come on, Bo. Come on, Bo. Spent a bit of time getting the business off the ground and got a few clients and things went really well. And then eventually, one of my clients hired me. But I really enjoyed just being able to travel the world without too many cares in the world and just be able to work from anywhere. So as long as I had my laptop, as long as I had internet access I could work and be able to write from anywhere basically so that's what I did for six seven eight months while I was traveling and then when I got back to the UK carried on things on from there and the business went really well to the point that as I mentioned one of my clients hired me and then that didn't end particularly well because of reasons I don't really want to get into right now. But what I realised was that the kind of without sounding like a wanker, the digital nomad lifestyle of being able to travel and work wherever was really fun. One of the things that really frustrated me while I was travelling was going from place to place, the hassle you have in airports of trying to get your bag checked in and spending time doing that was really frustrating and I thought next time I travel if I'm going to travel again I'll just try and do it with one bag because there's a guy on my trip who just had one bag that he took everywhere with him got all his stuff in it only packed minimal amounts and he was fine Whereas there was other people on the trip who had these huge bags that they lugged around. It was a nightmare for them and us trying to get through airports. Dog stopped again. So I kind of thought, 
can't travel around the world with just one bag and there's a big field there that we walk through but Pepper, the old Pepper here, hates those dogs so we're not going to today and there's a dog in front of them actually that he really hates so come on Pepper, let's go in here quickly so yeah I thought let's do what we can and let's see if we can just travel the world with one bag without having to go through back check, just get off the plane and be away. Alright, this is the dog that Pepper hates, so we're going to walk up high. Come on, up here. See, he really hates it. <laughs> Come on. Pepper. Pepper, come here. Right. <laughs> sit, 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 Papa. Papa. sit, come here, sit down, good boy, stay, good boy, stay, stay, good boy, ready, come on, So yeah, he just went absolutely mental. <laughs> he hates that dog so much. So the plan is to just... I bought a bag, which I'll show you in another video actually. It's um, an adventure bag, so-called adventure bag. So I bought that. I'm hoping it's not gonna be too big to be able to get in as cab cabin luggage. So the plan is just to take that away and just use that basically. And just be able to kind of travel freely I guess um, just by taking a certain amount of clothes only taking the bare minimum of things I need so like realistically how much do you need to, to go around these places uh, anywhere in the world to be honest so a phone you need a wallet you need a laptop and you need a few clothes and ideally if you go somewhere warm enough you don't need jeans or trousers so yeah you try and pack as lightly as possible where are you going now hey so we live down by the river and he loves it but there's more dogs in here so in terms of where we're going to travel we're going to amsterdam next month to, to visit a friend i'm traveling with last time and then I've booked to go to Sicily uh, for a month in October. Now a lot of this is kind of, a lot of my travel plans were up in the air because I was due to go travelling anyway. I got about as far as booking to go to Sicily. But then my dad passed away pretty suddenly four weeks ago. So by the time I was coming home, basically that week, he, uh, he died after a short illness. So, I've not actually got any further than that, so yeah, that's made things difficult, but I'm going to kick things off by just going to Sicily, see how I get on, see what kind of things we can find in Sicily. I've never been to southern Italy before, so about 12 years ago I went to Rome, Verona, Florence, and a few other places, but never really kind of ventured down to the south, so that's going to be the first adventure exploring a bit of Amsterdam and then venturing down into the south of Italy so that's going to kick things off we're going to, I'm trying to, going to try and bring footage of things that I see, places that I go um, adventures we get up to and just go from there really see what kind of things we find on the, on the way around the world eventually the plan is to kind of get over to South America again I really want to go back to Mexico and I'd like, love to go back to Colombia again. So I lived in Medellin. I lived in Medellin for a month last time. I lived in Lima and I lived in Santiago. So I'd like to go back to those places and then see a bit more of South America as well. Here he is, little dog. <laughs> so that's the plan. Go over to South America again. 
after that I'm considering going back to Asia with a view to going to Thailand and maybe a few other places in Asia with a view to then going over to Australia because I've got mates in Australia and New Zealand so that's kind of the plan how far we'll get we just go wait and see but I think now's the right time particularly in England I think to just get away from the country if you don't have a reason to be here you don't have any ties then just get away and see new places meet new people go on a bit of an adventure and explore a bit uh, it means leaving this little guy behind unfortunately he's my mum's dog so he'll be staying as much as he'd love to come and see the world I'm sure um, but yeah that's the plan so we're going to be bringing you a video on Friday where I just do like a little intro on this bag we've bought it's not that interesting but it's quite a cool little bag so we'll do that to start with and I've got some footage from when I was away last time in South America which I think is quite cool and I'm going to try and mix that into a video to put up in the next week or so as well so when we get started with travelling I'll bring some videos up and then we'll go from there so yeah do please consider subscribing and keep an eye out for future videos and hope to see you very soon bye for now